Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand how to pass a parameter from our LWC component to our APX class using wire decorator. But before getting started, if you really really like my videos and if you are learning about Salesforce at all, please 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 do consider subscribing to this channel. So in the previous video, what we learned was we used a wire method, wire decorator, and we call our APX class, which is with this calling user using wire is nothing but the pseudo name of our uh, of our APX class. So what we were doing is using this wire method, we were calling our APX class, and as soon as we used to call, the system dot debug used to get printed. Now in this video, what I what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass a parameter from our LWC component to our APX class. So to in order to pass a parameter first this method should take a parameter itself so i'm going to pass it as a string param1 right and i'm going to copy this remove this first and then just add it over here so what's going to happen is as soon as i pass the parameter let's say salesforce in five minutes or something uh, another channel name what will happen is please subscribe whatever the channel name is this will get printed so I'm going to pass the channel name using parameter, which will be a string parameter. So let's move to the LWC component to pass the parameter. Now in order to pass the parameter, what we are using wire uh, decorator, first we have to uh, identify where is our method getting called. So this is where uh, we are trying to call our method, which is nothing but the pseudo name of our APX class. So now in order to pass this parameter, pass the parameter to this APX class, what we have to do is you have to use comma, and after that just choose this and then next thing you have to do is you have to consider what is the parameter name param1 right so just copy this param1 go to your lwc component paste it colon whatever the name is salesforce in five minutes so right now what i have done is i have passed the param1 value as salesforce in five minutes and please do consider this the name of this parameter and the name of this parameter should be same. So even if I would have written test over here, I have to add test over here itself as well. So LWC name parameter and the APX class parameter should be same. So basically what I'm trying to do is I'm calling this APX method, right? Which is, this is nothing but the pseudo name of our APX class. So this is the APX class actually, and we are using this calling using where as a pseudo name of our APX class. And as soon as we are calling our APX class, to pass the parameter we are using comma and after that we are passing the parameter one that is our apex method parameter a value that is salesforce in five minutes now as it's a wire what's going to happen is as soon as our component will get loaded automatically data will be printed so now if i load reload this uh, reload this home page where i have added this lwc component automatically in logs i'll be able to see please subscribe salesforce in five minutes as i have passed parameter salesforce in five minutes So if I go over here and if I print it over here, as you can see, please subscribe. I just added please subscribe over here from the parameter it's coming Salesforce in five minutes. So if you like this video, please, please, please do subscribe to this channel.